Hi everyone, uh, this is Swamp Rabbit, and today I am playing the Big One Odyssey on medium level using no monkey knowledge. I'm going to have Quincy as a hero, two boomerangs, one bomb shooter, two snipers, two subs, two pirate ships, one helicopter, one mortar, two wizards, one ninja, one alchemist, two druids, two spike factories, and one village. So let's begin. I'll begin with Quincy. And I'll also go ahead and place a sub. I think they've added this first map into this Odyssey in order to lull us into a sense of ease, because that second one is crazy. I'll go ahead and upgrade my sub to Advanced Intel. And then I'll go ahead and add twin guns. Then I'll add air bar starts. Next, I'll go ahead and add a ninja. I'll upgrade it to 402. Go ahead and add an alchemist and I will upgrade that. My alchemist will be upgraded to 420. Let me go back and finish upgrading the ninja now to Bloom Jitsu.
want to remove the obstacle in the middle of the track. Add a um, bomb shooter then that I'm going to upgrade uh, to two four zero. I'll upgrade my sub to sub commander. And I'll add a second sub. And I'll upgrade it to 204. On 55, I'll use the bomb shooter ability on the BFB. Thank you. 
and then I'll upgrade to Moab Eliminator on my bomb shooter. On to map number two. Okay, for the second map, I want to start with a Quincy. And then I want to add a Druid that's upgraded to 030. Now I'll just let this run to like round 20 or so. At which point I'll be able to upgrade my Druid to 040. and then start spamming that ability as well. I'm also going to take it off of auto start. <laughs> the reason that I take it off of auto start is that with all the spamming of abilities, it's just easier for me to make additions to the map and to do my upgrades in between rounds. Some upgrades I'll do during rounds, but most of them I don't do until in between. I did forget to do my upgrades on my support. 
supply job. So I'm hoping that I'll still have enough to do my upgrades that I need. I want to up, uh, add a spike factory. <coughs> and I want to upgrade it to 240. Two, want to spam the spike factory ability for the DDTs on round 38. Okay, for round 40, I want to spam, 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 spam. <laughs> spam everything. And then as soon as I've collected, <coughs> collected all my supply jobs, uh, then I want to go ahead <coughs> and add a submarine. Uh, keep spamming your spike factory there. And then upgrade uh, to a first strike on the submarine. Spike Factory and the First Strike. Alright, uh, the next thing I want to do is finish upgrading my Sniper to Elite and I want to change it to First. And I'll give it Full Metal Jacket with large caliber. I want to add a second sniper. I want to upgrade it to 240. Lord, I have 502 Glaive Lord, so as soon as I have the money to upgrade that, I will make that upgrade. submarine. Oh, I didn't place that one very well. It's okay. I'll place it right here. I want to upgrade it to a first strike as well. And I'll go ahead and give that advanced intel. really be ready to spam that um, spike factory like crazy whenever there's it announces that there's DDT showing up. Okay, the next thing that I want to add is a bomb shooter. And I want to make it a recursive cluster. And just be sure to 
spam your money abilities. I want to upgrade to bomb blitz on my bomb shooter. Next, I am going to add a mortar, set my target right in the center, and upgrade it to 240 and eventually to 250. I'm going to use my first strikes on the VAD. Slow this down. Okay, and um, make sure you're using your spike factory. And use your uh, mortar ability as well, just every time everything's off cooldown. Okay, we have a lot of money now. We will upgrade to pop in off. pirate ship and upgrade it to pirate board and give it camo ability so I can pull in the DDTs. And right here I'm going to upgrade to Moab Domination eventually. I'll give it faster throwing. Just, you know, you spam your abilities. It's like totally insane. There are some bads, so we want to go ahead and spam these abilities. Go ahead and use them off and off. And seriously, just as fast as you can, as these come off cooldown, go around. I don't even watch the screen, to be honest. I just... Wow, that's all locked up. It's not doing anything. <laughs> That was weird. It was showing me that I could use my ability, but it was not available. I want to upgrade to Moab Domination. So the uh, abilities have broken my computer. Okay, there's a VAD, so we want to use our our first strike abilities. And our spike factory. And then, uh, once the VADs are busted open, start using your pirate ability, and you're popping off. amount of money here is insane. Okay, um, I want to go ahead and upgrade to Carpet of Spikes. And then I will add... And I want to upgrade it to 240. And then I'll add a wizard. I'll upgrade it to 042. 
and then I'll work towards upgrading it to Wizard Lord Phoenix. Okay, and when you see the BADs show up, then you want to make sure you use your first strike abilities. For the DDTs, use your, your carpet, your spikes. And then the BADs, you want to use your pop and awe and your first strikes. Once they're busted open, you can use your pirate ability. Okay, and we'll go ahead and upgrade to Wizard Lord Phoenix. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'll go ahead and add another wizard to find the spot. There. And I'll upgrade it to 502. I'll go ahead and give it its camo now. There's some bad, so we'll go ahead and um, use our first strikes. And as soon as it's busted open, we can use our pirate ability. We almost have enough for the Arc Mage. So I'll go ahead and upgrade to Arc Mage here. Now I have slowed down this whole thing just because it's so ability intensive. Okay, but there's a bad, so I'll start using my first strikes. Upgrade it to Bloom Master Alchemy and give it the larger potions. And here we want to just use all our abilities. There's bads coming, so we want to spam the Spike Factory. You know, make sure you get your money once. Uh, but spam the Spike Factory and the first strikes. And I'm also going to do use my Phoenix, Lord Phoenix ability. I forgot I had that one. <laughs> and we'll use Pop and Awe and as they bust open. We can use the Pirate ability too. Go ahead and upgrade to Spirit of the Forest. I'll give it a uh, Druid Reach. And upgrade to Bloom Master Alchemy. I want to add a Druid and I want to upgrade it to an Avatar of Wrath. Give it the Thorns. So as soon as I've got the money, I will make that upgrade. Okay, we've got bads again, so we want to use first strike. We want to use our Wizard Lord Phoenix as soon as it's available. Okay, the 
Wizard Lord Phoenix abilities off cooldown, so we'll use it. See, this is not what I consider strategy, it's just simply spamming abilities. Boat, because I put the, um, well actually I can sell this and re-put it. I put that um, submarine in a bad spot so nothing else could fit in the pond, but I can resell it. And I will give it a preemptive strike actually since I have enough money there. a second pirate boat put it here. Uh, this one I'm going to make a destroyer with a um, carrier flagship with a crow's nest. So when I've got 27,000 after this round I will make that upgrade. And here we go spamming abilities again. Uh, make sure you get your money abilities. That's the important <laughs> That's the most important ones. challenge. Uh, the next thing I want to do, oh I forgot to upgrade him. I want to get him upgraded to Avatar Wrath. Spike factories, you want to use your first strikes, you want to use your bomb and off. And your Wizard Lord Phoenix. And don't don't forget to use your um, pirate mode ability, your Lord Pirate, uh, whenever things are off, you know, after the bad's bust. you're wondering there's no strategy at all to these abilities that I'm using I am simply spamming them as they become available so um, I'm actually going to sell this ninja this is not the best upgrade I'm not sure what I was thinking I what I want to do instead I want to add the ninja I want to upgrade it along the bottom path to master bomber I'll go ahead and give it ninja discipline but when I have 43,000 I'll make that upgrade I do 
have enough uh, money now, so I'll go ahead and upgrade to Master Bomber. That's so weird. I can't. I can't use first strike anymore. I don't know what's going on. So maybe there's a limit, even though it's not. It's not dimmed out. Oh, now I can be used. Maybe there's a, a a limit to it, regardless. I don't know. Or maybe maybe my computer just cannot handle all these crazy spammy. Okay, um, guess we will go ahead and add a helicopter because we can. We'll turn it into a. We've got enough, I think, to handle the DDT. So I'm gonna uh, just skip the the camo on it. Or actually, I'll go ahead and I'll give it a village, which will also give this um, avatar brat some camo. Dart ship, and then I'll upgrade it to Apache Prime when I have the 48,000, maybe after this round. definitely be called the big spam. Okay, before this next map, I am going to start with my Quincy. Now, uh, it says it starts on round 31, but that is deceptive because it's actually, it's the balloons from round one. So they're like 30 rounds behind. I don't know if you guys remember from like a couple of months ago, there was an odyssey that, that was like this, that started on round 31, but it was really the equivalent of round one and everything was running 30 rounds behind. And really what that does, it just means you get a lot less money. Uh, the next thing I am going to do is add a ninja. I'll add it. Well, I 
ideally I could put him right where Quincy is, but I can't do that. So I'll add him right next to Quincy. And I'm going to upgrade this ninja to um, 302. As I upgrade to my cow chops, I just, um, <laughs> it just makes me laugh a little because I watched a video the other day of Ethan Reeves. You know, he's the one that does all the advanced challenges and he figures them out in like two seconds after they're released. And he's just like really smart about this, um, the balloon towers and how they work and what you can do with them. And he had this video the other day. It's like, does anyone actually use cow chops? Which makes me think that he thinks it's a waste of time or a waste of money. But I love cow chops. And on some of the Odysseys especially, I've noticed that you need to upgrade to cow chops before you upgrade your ninjas in other ways just to, uh, just because that's the only way that you can hit every, every balloon on the map. So... I think cow chops are important and definitely have a place. The next thing I want to do is place an alchemist. And I'm going to upgrade this alchemist to 320. This map is peaceful, relaxing <laughs> compared to that last one with the Spamathon. earn money so much more slowly on, on this particular type of map, uh, but that's okay. This one's only going to around 80, which is the equivalent around 50 
so we're only going to see like regular MOABs and we're not going to see any BFBs on this unless it's got something surprising since it is custom but, but I, I don't think I don't expect we'll see anything above a MOAB on this okay then I'll go ahead and upgrade my ninja to Fujitsu and then I'll wait and wait and wait so I can upgrade my alchemist next upgrade I'll make is to the stronger simulant. It's going to take forever, but eventually we'll get enough money. Uh, the next thing I'll add is a submarine, and I'll go ahead and give it long range and then advanced intel. starts as well. Maybe after this round. <laughs> it's so little money in this, this particular mode.
uh, then I want to give it twin guns. and then I want to upgrade to Airburst Darts. After I have Airburst Darts, and when I get some more money, I want to purchase a pirate boat. I just want to expand the range of the submarine because look how big that range is on the pirate boat. Uh, the next thing I want to do is um, make sure that it can hit the lead. So I want to upgrade to grape shot and then hot shot. to upgrade to triple guns on my submarine. upgraded my sub to armor piercing darts. Uh, the next thing I want to do is add a boomerang. I'll add it right by my Quincy. to red hot rings. Okay, on 36, I want to use Quincy's ability on that Moab to help bust it open. And then I want to purchase a village. I want to give camo to my boomerang and then I want to upgrade. 
upgrade it to jungle drums. primary training and then primary mentoring after primary mentoring, I want to upgrade my boomerang to 402. Next thing I'm going to want is a sniper, and I want to upgrade that sniper to 105, but I do have it in range of the village, so it's got camo already. and give it large caliber as well so it'll be a 205 sniper I'll go ahead and add a 030 Druid.
in range of the village so that it uh, can see the camos as well. And I will add a bomb shooter. I want to put it as even as possible with this main track just because it's going to see this anyway. And then I want to upgrade it to 040 or to 140, I've already upgraded the top half, and then to 240, so eventually to 240. I'll go ahead and add another boomerang in range of my village. And so I'll give it longer range, good hot rings. And then I'll upgrade it to more glaives as well. And then I'm going to add a wizard. Let's see where I can put it. Put it right here. It's not in range of the village, but that's okay. I want to upgrade it to a 032. And then I'll upgrade it to Summon Phoenix as soon as I get 4320. Then I'll be almost completely out of money, so I won't be able to upgrade much of anything else. I think with my remaining money, I will buy another sub. I first give it advanced intel. And then whatever remaining money I have, I will upgrade it the bottom half. Okay, and that's it. I've just got you know, less than $500 left. Well, let's see, I could upgrade to Hard Thorns. Oh no, not Hard Thunder, I don't have enough for that. Oh well. <laughs> I'm bad at math, I thought I could upgrade it twice on the top, but I can't. Just once is all I can do. I'm going to go ahead and use the Bomb Shooter ability on some of these BFBs on 77. Which is like the normal 79. For 78, we're going to see the uh, ZOMG. Actually, no, we're not. I don't know when we're going to see the ZOMG. <laughs> Thank you. 
the Odyssey, from the Odyssey that we um, had DDTs on 80 maybe? Which if it is, then it's a very good thing that I have a wizard. You can take out one of those DDTs with your bomb shooter ability because it's got the camo ability in range of the village. And then the second one you can take out, or second and third you can take out with the wizard's ability. So that is the completion of the medium level of this week's Odyssey, the big one, OO, uh, using no monkey knowledge, no powers and using Quincy as a hero. If you have any questions, just let me know and please specify which map you're asking about so I'll know exactly what your question is. And as always, thanks for watching.